So here we are with a new tutorial. Um, I've had to record this a few times because um, microphone wasn't working and uh, I just want to show how I made this see if anyone else could find it helpful um, I modeled and animated that little ghost guy um, so I wanted to make like the whole thing like you can do in destiny here in unreal so I tried that out um, and here's how I did it all right so first once you get your animations in, in unreal you're gonna wanna get a you're gonna wanna turn those into an animontage. You're gonna wanna assign that to a new slot, arm L, and you know when you assign a new slot, it's gonna do this thing where it just um just kinda T poses. So you're just gonna wanna move this. It'll work. It's whatever. Um it works like that's how it works. I don't know why Unreal does that. It just does, um, you know. And uh, you're gonna want to go into your skeleton and add a socket to the hand bone or whatever bone you think would work best for this. Because uh, I think the hand socket is the one to go with. Um, and the way you move this around in here uh, that's how it's gonna look like in in real time so to add a socket you go to the bone you want to add to I add it to the hand left click add socket and when you go to the socket and you add a preview asset and you can just move that around see how it is in here so then when you go to the first person character or third person character, I made it in both of them. Um, you go to the mesh, add it under, you know, add components, skeletal mesh or static mesh, whatever it is that you're gonna use. Uh, you add the companion. It's there, it's just not visible right now. So, you know just inside the gun and uh, you know right here on the transforms go to sockets you're gonna search for the hand socket or the socket you made whatever you named it and you're gonna parent it to that and we're gonna go into the event graph make a new a variable right here just add new variable and set it to a boolean companion activate by default leave it deactivated and uh, you're gonna want to add a new action mapping so I added it to G and and the global X menu on the Xbox controller and uh, once you're back in the blueprint you search action companion or whatever you named it we're gonna go here no oh, not get we're going to set the companion activate and under the condition we're gonna put it companion activate not so you're gonna get companion activate link it to not Link not right here. Right? You're gonna get a branch. You can just press B, click, or you can just search it. Um, condition. You're gonna set to the branch, and then the condition is gonna be the companion activate. If true, we're gonna set the visibility to new. If false, we're gonna uncheck for visibility. 
And then after the true visibility, we're going to play and in montage. And these print strings are just here to make sure it works. So when it works, it says companion off. When it doesn't work, it says companion. Uh, when it work, when it's set to false, it's uh, companion off. You're gonna search for print string. That's how it is. Great for debugging. Um, and that's about it. That's all you're gonna do here in the in the in the player character. You know. Um, then you're going to move on to the animation blueprint. You're gonna to go to the event graph and we're gonna drag off from the is valid to cast to first person character or whatever player you have. Um, try get pawn owners of the object. And from right here to get the companion variable so it can activate the animation blueprint, we're going to drag off from here and search companion and then you're gonna get it, right? And when you get it, you're going to drag off from it and promote to a variable, right? You're gonna name the companion activated or whatever you need. And I'm gonna hook that up to the set and hook that up to set is an error. So that's, that's integrated into the blueprint. So now we go into the app, into the to the anim graph, you're going to want to get your default state machine, cache it into a pose, make a new make a new pose cache. Um, and you're going to want to make a new state machine to slot arms, companion pose. And we're going to go into the new state machine. You're going to want to have the companion idle. And then you're gonna transition with, you're gonna get companion activated and you're gonna drag off and put not. And that's gonna be the can enter transition thing. So when you press G to deactivate it, it goes to companion hide and it plays the put away animation. That's all you wanna do in that anim graph. And then you're gonna cache that pose and you're gonna to wanna to put in two of the default poses. So you just search for, oh, just search for default pose, use cache default pose. You're gonna add a layer blend per bone, right? And this is going back to what I said about the animation montage with the, with the slot arm L, so, you're gonna go here, no wait, uh, back to the animation blueprint. You're gonna get the companion cache pose, set it to to arm L, the anim slot, and then you're gonna get a layer blend per bone. Just search for that, layer blend per bone. You get the default pose and you put it to base pose and the companion pose to blend pose zero. So then you're going to drop down here, add a new branch filter, and you're going to put clavicle L. That's the left arm, and that's how you're going to get the animation in. So now you're going to get a blend poses by bool, and you're going to get the cache pose to false pose so when this is deactivated it's going to be doing the default uh, animation for whatever blueprint you have and then the layer blend per bone is going to go to true and you're going to get companion activated as the condition to activate this and you're going to hook that up to the output uh, to the output pose so that should be it. And if we go in, it works. And you're going to want to do the same thing for the third person character. Because you see, I got it working on both of them.
I won't be including the drone in the download because uh, that's a marketplace asset I made. You can buy that for fourteen ninety nine on the marketplace. Um, it brings a ton of animations, as you can see here. I'm just scanning one. So, yeah, you can get this on the store, and, uh, you know, I hope this helped. If you're looking to learn about animation slots and stuff like that, I hope this was extremely helpful, because I've been trying my best to learn Blueprints and Unreal for the past year or two, and I'm only now getting a hang of it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And have a good one.